Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little craft with me session. I'm going to be making a little super cute banner using my January Lotley Pop Box Club kit. I'm so excited if you guys remember. Um, I couldn't really figure out what to do with it, but something kept telling me to like do a banner. And I think a banner would look so cute with this kit, um, especially because the colors are definitely some of my favorite colors. I love the blue, the pink. Um, and just the color combination all together is beautiful. So we are going to go ahead and um, do a little bit of die cutting today. I usually don't take you guys with the process of die cutting, but um, I want to do some die cutting today. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is the cardstock paper because that's definitely what we're going to be working with. And then the rest is just going to be like embellishments and decor. So here we have it, and I do have one more project that I'm going to be doing, you guys uh, you guys will see that video on Friday. Um, so I do have basic blue and pink paper, and I'm going to be using these metal dies. I think I actually got these from AliExpress if I'm not mistaken, and um, just search under metal dies for banners and you should be able to find them. So I pulled out um, the little bigger size and the smaller size because I love layering. So the solid color is gonna be the big one and then my decorative piece is going to be the smaller one because that one's gonna be in the front. So we'll definitely need to focus on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the strips that I'm gonna need and then we'll go into my die cutting station. So I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this, and then that should work. So I got two of those, and then it's gonna be a small banner. It's definitely, you know, not gonna be nothing big, nothing crazy. I just want it so that I can hang it in one of my little planner areas, just, you know, for decorative purposes. So here I should have two. So I'm gonna have two pinks, two blues. So I got those right here. And then I'm going to die cut, because also because I want to save some paper for um, the other project that I want to do. I definitely want to use the heart, or should I save the heart? I think I'm going to save, I think I'm going to use these two, these right here. I'm going to save these, and then I think I'm going to use these. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my little banner. So I'm going to need two of those, I'm going to save this strip, and then I'm going to need two of these, I think, right? I should have cut it this way because then I can do two in one. So one fits there, one fits there, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and die cut a heart right here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and die cut one of these. And then one of these. So, okay. I'm going to do a little bit of cutting right here. Cut this in half just so that it can go through my Sizzix machine. And then let's do one pink. Let's see how that's going to work out. Perfect. Alright, so now that we have all of our pieces. So I have heart metal dies. I think these were from BB Crafts. And then I have these right here, and I think these were from In Love Art, so hopefully I'm saying it right. Um, but yeah, let's take our metal dies, we're going to take our paper, and we're going to go to our die cutting station, and let's do some die cuts. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a weird angle once I lay down the camera. I have my little tripod stand right there, but that is my Sizzix machine. That's what I use for my die cutting. And then I just put a TV in my little area. So I'm excited about that because now I get to watch TV and craft and not be lazy and go to the room. Um, but yeah, so I have that right there. So I'm just going to put you guys on the tripod and... We'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of my plates. Here I have my second plate right here. I know you guys can't really see, but some of you guys like to see how I do my little die cutting process. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my banner. And then I'm going to put this on top of here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and roll it through. Oh, I hate when it does that. Alright, so 
Now we have our first little baby right here. How cute is that? So I'm gonna put that right there. I have my little junk tray right there. And I'm gonna do another set. Keep rolling. Sorry, you guys are gonna see I have my scrub pants on because I just got home from work. All right, so, ooh. So here's the other one. Super cute, I love the pink. Now we're gonna go ahead and do two blue ones. Again, this doesn't need to be anything big. I just want it to be a nice little size to put in my little planner area. Ooh, this definitely requires a lot of arm strength. It's gonna pop right now. Ooh, and I think my play, oh. Oh, I thought my plate broke in half. So here's the blue one. I love that it has like the little stitching on the side. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the other one. Right, so I'm gonna do the rest off of camera. My little tripod was not standing there and I don't feel like setting up the other one because it takes a while. So let me go ahead and finish die cutting and I'll be right back. All right, so I changed the angle in the camera just so that you guys can see a little bit closer what I do. But I have all of my little die cut pieces. So here I have my banner. So here's my, I'm gonna alternate them. I'm gonna do a blue and a pink and then a blue, just like that. So now the first thing we do definitely have to do is make our little holes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this on there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little hole in the two corners just like that. So that we can put whatever ribbon we're doing. I could have probably stacked them together and did the holes at once. There we go. One more. I want to make sure my stitching is right. Perfect. Right, so now that we have that, now we're going to go ahead and adhere my little double layer. So I can definitely do something fun. So I think I did alternate them. So we have one of those, and then I did a pink one too. Maybe you can do the pink one here. There we go, right? Something like that, super cute. I love layering. I think layering is definitely a fun way to create. So we're gonna go ahead and add right there. We're gonna do the same thing right here. I also have the banner punch board from We Are Memory Keepers and it works really nice too so that's also an option in case you guys don't use metal dies and you prefer just to buy the banner punch board. That's also a great way to create some super cute banners. And the fun thing about that one is that you can create I think up to like three or four different types of banners. So that's really cool. All right. I'm going to roll out my sleeves because I'm getting so hot. Now I'm going to go ahead and see which decorative pieces I have. So I have my little wood veneers. I have a paper clip, which I don't need. I have some bling. I have some die cuts. And some little pull aparts, right? Like these right here. So I think I'm definitely going to cut like one or two of these. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Now you can also add some fun doilies. So I think I'm gonna add a doily to this one and I'm gonna put it up top just like that. There we go. And then I have my little heart. I have this one too. I think this one would be cuter. So I think I'm going to 3D foam this one. Where did my 3D foam go? Alright, so I added some 3D foam and I'm going to go ahead and pop this one up on here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and put the forever. And then I think I'm going to 3D foam with another heart 
just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this one. Sorry if you hear my puppy, he just like started. He's playing, I think. And then I'm going to add a 3D foam. like that and then we can also add a little wood veneer there's little ones right here that would be cute I don't know if this is gonna work on it but we'll give it a try just have to squeeze this in there Super cute. Oh my goodness, I love that. All right, so that one's done. If I want to add some little bling to it, I can. Right? Let's go ahead and put a little bling there. A little bling right there. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and do this one right here. And then again, we're going to go ahead and add our little bling because bling is always fun. Right? Does this one have bling? This one doesn't have bling. Add bling to this one. Yes. 
All right, you guys. Um, so they are all done. Let me cover this up so it doesn't dry out. So here is this one. Here is another one. Here's another one. And then here's another one. And this, you guys, the creativity, the creativity is totally up to you and how you want to decorate, what you want to add to it. Um, because in the end, this is yours. So, you know, don't feel like it has to be, you know, looking exactly like mine. Um, because by all means, mine's not perfect. This is like kind of, you know, um, this is kind of like a last minute thing. And it's just all about, you know, layering makes everything look better. So... If you can layer, you got this. Now I'm going to add the ribbon that comes with the kit. Hopefully I can get it through. I'm going to have to bring this in as much as I can. I don't know if this is going to last all the way, but... Oh, there's more. Yay. There you go. We'll leave about that much. Then we're going to go ahead and bring this in. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and add our pink one. I'm going to bring this through. And it's always good to go in and out, in through the back, out through the front, and then same thing. So let me go ahead and finish this up. And then once everything is nice and set, we'll take a look. All right, you guys, I'm officially obsessed with this banner. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit off right here. And then I'm just going to fray my edges. There we go. And then I can definitely scoot this over a little bit more. Do I dare? I might break it. Put this towards the back, bring this out a little bit more, bring this in a little bit more, there we go, bring this in, and there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut it straight, there you go. And there you have it, you guys, my little mini lollipop box club banner. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and hang it up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for crafting with me. And, you know, sometimes they say last minute ideas are the best ideas. And this is definitely a great idea. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you give this a try. As always, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out the Lollipop Box Club. All links will be down below. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.